Hi! Today we're going to the Renaissance Fair. We're starting it off with my outfit that I'm wearing for the Ren Fair. This is the Georgia Renaissance Festival and I'm here with my husband and my two friends. So let's go explore! One thing I love about this Ren Fair is that there are so many different things to look at in each shop. They're all artisan made and handmade by people whose job is just to travel around the country going to various Ren Fairs and selling their wares. These weapons! It is so pretty. Thank you. It's an Etsy special. <laughs> I love seeing everyone in costume and in character. It's really, really fun. No! What do you mean no? The balance on a bowling ball? Why not? Because it's not just a bowling ball. It's not? It's also 360 degrees of break your face. They're fun skits and plays, and they set up the entire environment to look so fantasy and woodsy and mythical as possible. So this is called a puzzle ring, originally designed about 2,000 years ago by the Chinese as a game. Later recreated throughout the centuries as wedding bands because if your husband or your wife were to take it off, you would know that they had made the attempt to be unfaithful. Oh. <laughs> we made them ourselves though, so we're nice enough to actually teach you how to put them back together in these days, which is fantastic. Wow, fantastic. that's really cool. Wow. You do it again? One. Three. Close. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. I love that. shopping for myself trying on various corsets I have one from this shop already that's leopard print that's what I wore when I first got here and I wanted to get another one so just trying on a variety mm -hmm. 
No, I was running around. I said, do you want to go to the Grand Fest? <laughs> Friend also got her entire ensemble from Bullseye Clothing as well. The corset top, the lace, and the skirt. And it looks so cute. is run by a guy who has worked on a variety of films like Labyrinth and the Dark Crystal and E.T. Except I hate E.T. Absolutely not. But it's my favorite booth because him and his family have created these really cute creatures that sit on your shoulder and they move their head and they're just really fun to wear at the Ren Fair. I own two of them. Do a flip! This is another favorite creator of mine. Her name is Mira and she runs this fun little mushroom and gnome door booth. She is Norwegian like me. Well, she's full Norwegian. I'm only half, but she was really, really sweet. I was excited to see her again this year. This is my son. <laughs> this is another Imaginarium Studios booth where they sell a bunch more of those little puppets that move their heads and everything. They're so cute, I can't get over them. It's my son. It's my son. was fun. <sighs> Such a glare. I can't see without my glasses. <sighs> it's the next day and I will show you my Renaissance Fair haul. <laughs> I didn't get a lot of things but the things I did get I really like so let's see them. The first thing I got is this really really cute um, half like corset top thing. I can show you. Just put it on. It doesn't really match this outfit, but that's okay. I really like the colors in this one. And this one goes here. I'm a classy lady. See? Very pretty. It's like this green red color. And it has this lace up in the front. It's like some boning here. And it's just really cute. I have a leopard one as well. That's like one of my favorites. <laughs> I wear it a lot. So I was excited to get kind of like a half bust one like this. Next thing. I got this from a girl who I saw last year too. And she's Norwegian. And I was really excited to talk to her. Um, but look at these cute little mushrooms. Look at how cute. I got a blue one. Little door. How cute is that? I'm gonna put that somewhere outside. Like on the wall, on like a tree or something.
I don't have a spot for the door yet, but I'm thinking maybe over by this big tree because I have this little uh, birdhouse here. So maybe it'll be cute there. And then last but not least, I got Milton. Milton is a sculpture. I think he's made out of concrete. He's supposed to sit outside and he's like a little gnome troll thing picking his nose and he has a little butt. <laughs> A little cute little butt and that was that sold me i was like mm, milton's mine and his name was milton and i was like yeah that's that's fair that's a good name for him so i'm keeping his name milton and my husband got a cool pipe that I think it's like hand carved. He likes it. He was smoking it yesterday and he looked like a wizard. <laughs> I don't think he got anything else, but my friend got a really cute outfit. Her boyfriend got, I think also the same pipe as my husband. <laughs> so they can go do the little pipe smoking party together. I don't know. I tried it. I don't do well with smoke stuff. It makes my throat like close up a little weird. I tried it and I was like, what's the point of this? You just like inhale it and then taste the smoke and then spit it back out. And he was like, yeah, kind of. And I was like, okay, not really my cup of tea, but if it's yours, no judgment for me. Yeah, I could do without. <laughs> it was pet day. So you probably saw a bunch of dogs and I was going to bring my dogs. I was excited about it. I was like counting down the days. I was like, this is pet weekend. This is pet weekend. I can't wait to bring my dogs. And then it rained and we didn't know if it was going to rain the whole day and we didn't know how muddy it was going to be. And they're Pomeranians and they have like a lot of coat. And I didn't want to have to deal with like a super, two super muddy Pomeranians and I didn't bring them and I'm sad because it really wasn't that muddy and they could have been fine <clears throat> next year, I guess. I'll have to get like a little cart, I think, to stick them in. <laughs> and I know it's like not my normal content, although technically since I'm, this is such a new YouTube channel, it's like, what is my content? I don't know. I'm just kind of making videos of whatever. <laughs> oh, the glare is so bad on my glasses. All right, we're going to do this blind. Well, not blind. I can see. Like I, I have a uh, farsighted, nearsighted. I can never remember. I can see up close. I can't see far away. It starts getting blurry. So I really need my glasses. Well, now the, the eye doctor said I can, I have to wear my glasses all the time. But when I first got them, I only needed them for driving and for reading far away. But I guess my eyes have gotten worse because of course they have. So now I should wear them all the time, but it's not like I can't see what's happening. Like I can see fingers and anyway, that's tangent. What was I saying? Um, oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> this was more of like a chill, relaxing, like not super eventful video. But I figured I would make it, whatever. If you like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. I don't know. Links to all of my stuff in like my stores and shops and everything are in the comments below. And links to all of the people featured in this video are also going to be below. Thank you to everyone who allowed me to film you. I have a bunch of new items in my shop. So feel free to check it out, including one of a kind pieces that I collaborated with my friend Scoper Monster on. They're really cute. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. Uh, quick, easy, short, fun, whatever. Bre easy, breezy video. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>